Nothing much. You bet. Whew. Wow. Um, thanks, Ben. It's just wild to be up here with uh, Daniela and Tosca and Jonathan Carl and these people are people that are truly living at the summit of their profession and I don't I know I don't have to explain that to all of you here in this room but I wanted to highlight it because I'm also up here and it's quite a thing for me to to be included so um, please let me begin by thanking uh, the ICFJ and the Center for inviting Twitter to be represented here tonight. Your commitment to advancing the human condition, enriching lives, and empowering journalists to do their jobs more efficiently is an inspiration, I think, to everyone who's in this room tonight. And it is truly a profoundly motivating brand of leadership. Technology is politically neutral so it can be used for good or for ill. The journalism community has used Twitter in unbelievably positive ways to augment skill and to deliver fresh and authentic perspectives in faster and more meaningful ways, while I pretty much continue to be totally surprised by Twitter on a pretty much regular basis. Uh, by way of example, the Moldovan anti-communist social movement emerged in the spring of last year after the Communist Party of the Republic of Moldova allegedly rigged elections. Anti-communists organized themselves using Twitter and the events that transpired were subsequently dubbed the Twitter revolution. Whether it was an actual revolution or not, I have no idea. But I do know this, I was bombarded with questions. Most of them were exactly the same question. Mr. Stone, what is your role in the Moldovan revolts? Pretty tempting. Pretty, pretty, pretty tempting to make something up there. Um, but since our new revenue model promoted revolutions had not yet been revealed, I, uh, I decided to go with no comment. Felt that was safer. Even if it did, maybe you know, lose an opportunity. Um, but what is our role? Our role is a supporting role. We coded software that works on computers and mobile phones. The system is meant to give everyone a voice and is designed with a very low barrier to entry in mind. And it is the passionate belief of everyone who's working on Twitter that the open exchange of information can have a positive global impact. Today, Twitter is used from almost anything you can think of, from the petty to the presidential. Okay, so maybe that's not, that swath is not as varied as, uh, uh, as it sounds. Um, but what I, what I mean is this. Um, People are using Twitter to help each other in the midst of disasters. They're using it to raise uh, funds and awareness uh, uh, for, for causes, charitable causes, and to conduct business, and to tell the stories of their lives. And this is why that we've said in the past, and will continue to say, that uh, if Twitter is to be a triumph, then it, it, it doesn't matter uh, how many machines we add to the network. And it doesn't matter uh, how, many, how sophisticated our algorithms get. If we are to be a triumph, then we're not to be a triumph of technology, we're to be a triumph of humanity. Uh, people are basically good. And if you give them a simple tool that allows them to exhibit that behavior, then they will prove it to you on a regular basis. Journalists were among the first to realize that Twitter uh, is a real-time information network with all of its flaws and advantages. Um, with people tweeting all around the world, every second of every day, we, we can break news very quickly. 
Um, Ann Curry understood that there were people in Haiti tweeting while the earth was shaking. And uh, so Twitter is many things to many people, but for journalists, it can be a powerful new way to make a difference. So with help from millions of users and billions of tweets, uh, I think we're fostering something complementary to journalism. With people around the world, as I said, tweeting every day, the news can break very fast, but it is your commitment to providing context and telling the full story that makes our relationship whole. So on behalf of all of the users and on behalf of all of the coders and developers and on behalf of all of the employees back in San Francisco working uh, to keep Twitter running right now, I want to thank you all for thinking of us. And I want to say that we're just at the beginning of our work. And it is my sincere hope that together we can work to advance the human condition. So thank you very much for this. It's very appreciated.